Hi guys, what's up? My name is Krista. If you're new here, um, I'm a singer dancer. I work on cruise ships, um, specifically on the Pride of America right now in my cabin. And today I wanted to talk about something that is probably my most frequently asked question, which is how much I get paid and what my expenses are, how I budget, all those things while living and working on a cruise ship. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how much I get paid and how much other production cast members get paid if you're a singer, dancer, singer, dancer. And then I'll also kind of go over how it works getting paid in general on cruise ships. And then I will go over what my expenses are living on board. And I guess I'll go over how I budget. Honestly, I'm currently in Hawaii. So budgeting is really hard when you're in Hawaii. You just kind of want to go out and spend all your money on cool things. So I'll go over that. But to start, I wanted to explain the difference between the ship that I'm on and most international ships. I am on the only US flagged cruise ship in the world. So it's a little bit different on how we get paid. 75% of the crew on this ship has to be American. And so the wages that people are making are more than they would be on an international ship because most of the American crew has to go back to the US and they have to make a livable wage in the US. If you were to go to a ship that is, we call them international ships because they're flagged in places like the Marshall Islands or the Bahamas, a lot of the crew is gonna be from places like the Philippines, um, India, Indonesia. And so when they get paid in US dollars on the international ships and then they go home and convert that money back into their home currency, it's gonna be more money. So a lot of times on the international ships, you're not going to find many Americans working in you know, the restaurant, bar, housekeeping, things like that, because the money that they're making is not enough to go back to the USA and make a livable wage. I hope that that makes sense. I will also say that depending on the cruise line that you're working for, the pay is gonna be different. There's no like set rate across the board for all cruise lines. Not all housekeeping is gonna make the same as they do on Norwegian or royal it just kind of it all depends so if you do want to be in the production cast it's kind of the same thing there different companies are going to pay different wages um, i did a little bit of research i just went on to actors access and i looked up some of the auditions that are coming up for different cruise lines and this is what i found so there is a listing here for carnival cruise lines that are looking for singers and dancers the starting rate for a singer is $5,310 a month, and the starting rate for a dancer is $3,540 a month, and that is during the contract. A lot of companies, actually I think all companies, pay a lower rate for the rehearsal process, which is usually about five weeks, and then the rate will go up once you get on board. Another example here would be for Seaborn. They're looking for singers, and their rates start at $5,500 and go up to $7,500 a month. They're definitely one of the best paying cruise lines out there. Norwegian Cruise Line. So this one, there is a little bit of a difference here as well. Norwegian, Royal, pretty much all ships have their like base production cast. They have their singers and their dancers. But then a lot of them also have big book shows like Grease, Cats, um, Legally Blonde. And the, the people that are in those shows are going to make more weekly just because that's the way that it is. If you are, you know, L in Legally Blonde, you're a lead in that show, you're gonna be making more. A lot of the times they'll make up to $2,500 a week. But for this one specifically, this listing for Norwegian, they're looking for somebody to be in velvet. They're looking for singers and the starting salary is $1,200 a week. Sorry, there's something rolling by my room and it's very loud. Okay, I think they're done. Another thing about working on cruise ships, there's always loud noises all the time. Um, okay, let's see. Another one, we have Carnival Cruise Lines. They're looking for lead vocalists and singer dancers. And this just says it's a starting rate of 800 to 1275 weekly. So as you can see, there's a pretty big difference between the cruise lines of what they're gonna pay their performers. For Norwegian, I know specifically their dancer's starting salary is 750, singer dancers is 850, and then singers is 1100. As you can probably tell, singers' rates are always higher. That's just the way that it is. You'll find that across every single cruise line as well. Vocalists always get paid more. Okay, and now I'm going to tell you how much I make working on the Pride of America as a singer dancer. My weekly rate is $950, and then that comes out to what, like $3,800 a month. But like I said, we are in Hawaii and we do pay Hawaiian taxes, which take out a huge chunk of my paycheck every single week. I also, hi. Did I ruin it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I was talking. How much is the income tax percent in Hawaii? I think I think I pay like twelve, well, like like healthcare and stuff, like twenty seven or twenty eight percent of my income. <laughs> <laughs> Not just Hawaii, but like total of my paycheck. Right, it's a lot. And then every single month, I'm pretty sure that I pay about $34 in medical expenses, and then the company covers the rest. That's I'm pretty sure about I said right. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder if I have a pay stub. Let's look at this pay stub. I'm going to give you all the numbers. Oh, this is yours. You well, that. you want to see the difference between my number <laughs> and I get paid? <laughs> Mine is cute. can tell I really take care of my pay stubs. They're just everywhere. They're all just the like, <laughs> all right. This is me. Okay. Looking at this here, let me find the numbers. Okay, so my total for two weeks was 1,000. After taxes, right? At, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that. <laughs> my total after taxes that I got into my bank account was 1,000, sorry, $1,478.65 for two weeks. I should, before taxes, I would have made $2,100 and I made 1,478. So that's four, 500, wait. It's almost, it's just under like a third of your paycheck. <laughs> Robert, can I, can I say this? Sure. What? Robert's pay after taxes was $1,848 and it should have been $2,600. So as you can tell, a lot of money, it's gonna hit me in the face. <laughs> a lot of money is going to Hawaii taxes and medical and that's just the way that it is working on this ship. Okay, so the last thing that I'll talk about is the expenses. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is so tangy. Okay. Okay, and then the last thing that I'll talk about is expenses that we have living on board. We don't pay for anything like rent, water, electricity, or any of those like household things that you would find on land. A couple of things that we do pay for would be Wi-Fi, and this obviously depends on the ship that you're on. Since I'm in the US and I have service in most of the ports, I don't have to pay for Wi-Fi, but if I was on an international ship, I would probably be paying way too much for Wi-Fi. Um, I think it's $20 for 220 minutes, so it just depends on the person and how much Wi-Fi you're gonna use. And then if you're gonna go to Crew Bar, um, whatever you buy there is just gonna come out of your crew account. A lot of the drinks at Crew Bar cost between a dollar and three dollars. They're really cheap and then you can also get snacks and then household well, household items um, things like detergent toothpaste toothbrush all those types of things but they're really inexpensive and like I said they'll just go onto your crew account and it'll come out of your paycheck at the end of the month and then if you have the ability to go into guest area and you can go to the restaurants or the bars same thing there you'll usually get a discount um, between 40 and 60 percent just depends and then that'll also just go off of your paycheck at the end onto your crew account depending on the ship they might also have crew tours where like I've done some before where they take you on a catamaran and you go and have lunch and snorkel and a lot of the times those will cost it, it really depends but I would say like between 30 and 60 dollars and so that's something to think about maybe you'll be spending money on those types of activities but most of my money goes toward being in hawaii it's pretty expensive here um i spend money on ubers i eat out um since we are currently in a code red we can't go to the upstairs restaurants we are only able to eat in the mess so i've been eating out way too much but that's where most of my money has been going like i said before i haven't really been budgeting in a way that makes any difference in my life because hawaii is very expensive and then one of the last things that i'll mention is tipping your cabin steward we have someone who comes in every other day he takes our trash makes our beds vacuums makes the room really nice and so we tip usually around ten dollars a week but that just kind of depends on the person as well i will say you know I don't get paid a ton of money, but I do get to save a lot of it because I don't have any expenses and I also get paid in experiences because we're traveling around the world and I'm getting paid to do it. So for me, it's definitely worth getting paid maybe a little bit less than I would at a job, I don't know, on land if I really wanted to do something over there. But for me, it definitely is an amazing job. I love it so much and I plan to continue doing it. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this answered some of your questions. If you have any more, feel free to drop them below and I will happily answer them. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.